This is the third part of numerical data presentation for ungrouped data. In this video, we will discuss the measures of position. There are three measures of position. The first one is the first quartile, the second quartile or the median, and the last one is the third quartile. Let us take a look at these three quartiles based on our data set. Before we start, please make sure that we sort the data from the smallest to the largest. And be careful with your number of data values or n. Since your n is equal to 7, so this is an odd case. We will start with determining the second quartile or the median. As we know that for odd case, the median is simply the middle value of this sorted data. Or you can use the formula of n plus 1 divided by 2 to determine the position of your median value. Let us substitute our n. Hence, the median value will be at the fourth position of your sorted data. So, this is the first position, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and the last. This is the fourth position. Hence, this is your Q2, which is... 30.2 So let us now take a look how to compute the first quartile. We will use the same concept as we obtain the second quartile. However, we start with defining lower half of our data. Lower half of our data is simply data values below the first position. In this case, there are three data values below the fourth position or the position of your median value. While this is the upper half of your data value. So, the upper half is simply data values above the fourth position. Now, let us start with the first quarter by using the concept of median value. Sorry, middle value. The first quartile will be the middle value of lower half data. As you can see, the middle value of lower half data is simply the second position which is 25.5. This is your first quarter. Hence, the third quarter use the same concept. It will be the middle value of your upper half data. The middle value is given by the sixth position which is 40.1. So, this is your third quartal. Now, let us take a look if your n is even. I use the same example and I add up one new data value. The same process, we sort from smallest to the largest. We start with determining Q2 or the median. Recall that median is the middle value of your sorted data. So, we already sort the data and we use the formula N plus 1 divided by 2 
to obtain the position of your Q2. So be careful, your N is even. 8 plus 1 divided by 2, so you have 4.5 position. So let us label the position of the data values. Okay. Hence, Q2 is at the 4.5 position of your sorted data, which is simply by taking the average of the middle two values. Q2 is the average of the middle two values. Average of the middle two values. So if you calculate the average it is given by 33.05 now let us determine our first quartile we start with defining our lower half data Lower half data, recall that lower half data is data below 4.5 position of your sorted data. Hence, this is your lower half data. data below your median value or data below the 4.5 position of your sorted data and on the other hand the upper half data is simply data below sorry above the median value so this is your upper half data data above 33.05 or data above 4.5 position so we use the same concept to obtain q1 q1 is the middle value of lower half data so we can just focus on these four values Q1 is the middle of lower half data. So since in this case, N is equal to 4, the middle value is the average of these two values. So Q1 is the average of the middle two values and if you compute you will obtain 27.85 the same concept to obtain Q3 let us focus at the upper half of our data so we have four observations of four data values q3 is defined as the middle value of upper half data since we have four observations the middle value is simply the average of these two values 
So the average is simply given by 40.1 So Q3 is equal to 40.1 So hopefully you can understand how to obtain first quartal, second quartal and third quartal when you have even case and you have odd case and if we go back to the interquartal range interquartal range is the third quartal minus the first quartal based on your data set the same data set here the third quartal is 40.1 and the first quartal is 25.5 so I substitute here 40.1 minus 25.5 so the difference is simply 40.6 so thank you